So what we're going to do now is this. I'm going to break our room up to look more like classrooms because we've got about 40 people in this circle. It's a big circle. So we're going to divide it right here. And this group form a circle and this group form a circle. That looks a little bit more like it'll look like in your classroom. We're going to, this is called uh, Marietta Mosquito, right? So do you have a lot of mosquitoes in the summer with the Ohio River right here? So this is better. This is, you know, those little electrical things that kill the mosquitoes. This is better than that, right? This is a natural way to do it. So here's what happens. Uh, let's say we're in a circle here. Come on over here just with me. Um, so you've got two people on both sides of you. Um, Brittany, OK, what's your name? Chris. Chris is going to duck down, and we're going to kill a mosquito at the same time above his head, clapping oh, no. at the same time. Watch. <laughs> here we go like this, right? Okay. Then Chris is going to come up. And Brittany's going to go down. And Chris and Lindsay, Lindsay are going to do it. Boom, Brittany up, Lindsay down, Lindsay up, Abby down, Abby down, Kelly, Kelly uh, Abby up, Kelly down, you got it? And we're gonna pass it around the circle. Okay? All of these activities we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing some moving around and stuff, not too intense, but you adapt them so that they work for you. Okay, don't do anything that's going to hurt you. The goal is to take care of each other. The goal is to take care of ourselves. So if you, if it's, if, if you have a hard time going down, bend down like this or do whatever you need or go dodge it or go back. Whatever you need to do to make it work, okay? Yeah, so what we're going to try to do, let's pass it around once and then we're going to try to move it around as quickly as possible. It should almost feel like a rhythm once we get it going. And. That was a great start, but really, if we're working together as a complete ensemble, we should feel it go ra, da, 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 almost like a rhythm all around the circle, right? If we're really working together. So, what does it take to make this activity successful? What do we have to do to make this successful? What? Great knees. Well, great knees, right. The, your students will have great knees, don't worry about that, yeah? Attention. Huh? Attention, focus. Uh, attention. What are you paying attention to? What's coming. What's coming, anticipating before it gets there. What else? And what's going? So you have to have your mind in two places at once. You're You're, where, where are you watching? Uh, yeah, everybody. I'm watching it. Everybody. Okay, that brings us to a really important point. These are called point of concentration activities, right? They were developed by a theater educator named Viola Spolin in Chicago, working with really poor kids in the poorest sections of Chicago it around the 1910s like and 1920s. In an acting class. In an acting yeah. class, right. Because everyone has to focus on one area of concentration. With the ball thing we did too, at the first time we did it, was a point of concentration activity. You're paying attention to where that ball is. A kid in a classroom, has to have a point of concentration. Pay attention to me, the teacher. Pay attention to the person who's talking. Be anticipate who's gonna to speak to you and who you're speaking to next, right? It's the same activity. We're creating a metaphor for that. We're practicing that. So we're gonna try it again. Even more concentrated. You can't think about you know, the fact that you left your dog inside the house and he's gonna poop inside the house. We got a new puppy and the puppy just pooped twice in the night. I hate that, you know? So we got a pooping puppy right now. So, I am to, <laughs> so you can't think about your pooping puppy. Uh, you can't think, you gotta th you can't think about what your you know, vacation next week. You gotta concentrate and be in the moment to make it work as a whole group. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's try it again. Start with Ann here and let's start with Chris, okay?
applause, everybody. We've literally got dozens of these activities, the point of concentration ones, right? Dozens. Uh, they're on our a lot of them are on our website or in the book, but I'll teach you a couple more. And we'll do a couple to get us warmed up after lunch and things like that. Uh, you wouldn't normally do like a bunch of them like this at once. You may have one that you come back to every morning just to get the kids focused and concentrating. Here's another good one, a simpler version of that. It's called Pass the Energy. We take the, we take the ducking out of it, right? So now it's just clap, pivot, clap. But it's at the same time, boom, all around the circle. We'll go as fast as we can. You should be really good at this now. And listen, completely, listen, listen, listen. Completely silent, right? So just clap, 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 clap. And see how quickly? You have to, we, the, the two goals are this. We move it around the circle as quickly as possible, but we don't lose our partners, right? It's not about you just going as fast as you can. It's about being with this person and clapping and this person. So it's connected, okay? You ready to go? And let's start it there. Chris, let's start it there. Beautiful, round of applause, you guys got it. Here's another great one that I've never done before, but I think it's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> balloons, right? I just learned about this one. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a balloon and we're gonna pass it around the circle. Couple rules, you can't skip a person and you can only use one hand, right? And you have to hit it in the air, obviously. You can't just hand it to the person. So you go from the person to person and pass it around the circle. Okay, let's form the two circles again, and let's do it in smaller circles. Here we go. And whoever the balloon lands on by the time I count down to zero, Hold the balloon. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Aren't those beautiful? A round of applause. 